My name is Dorothy and welcome to my research paper. It is our social convenience with which we stereotype, be it gender, community or period. My research in sociology is on fatherhood. fathers merely the strong figures of the family? Is the role of a father just a protector and a provider? Does a father ever feel threatened by his own children? Like mothers, are fathers also overprotective? What is the reason behind his ego? fathers of three different generations and three different continents. This is the 17th day of the battle of Kurukshetra. A battle of principles, greed and brothers. The royal dynasties, Pandavas and Kauravas are fighting for greed and justice. The supreme blind king, Dhritarashtra, waiting for the news of the battlefield. This sound, this war, and this blood, all for the greed of this man. They call it pride. I curse such a pride. Everything could have been better. But the king, with his enormous pride and blind love for his son, chose to shut his mouth. Shame on you, O oh mighty king, your silence robbed me of my family. Your silence has snatched fathers, husbands and sons. May you also feel the pain of loss. O oh mighty king, may you also feel the pain of loss. Draupadi, control your emotions. Shakuni! Where are thou? Shakuni! Where are thou? Yes, my king. <laughs> Shakuni! What do you see? Sanjay has gone to attend his funeral of his son. You tell me, what do you see? <laughs> All I can see are dead bodies around. Legs Torn, head separated from the bodies, ribs crushed, and screams of pain and agony. There comes a soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we won. He has crushed the skull of the enemy. We won. We won. We won. <laughs> How we can label them as enemies? How greed and properties snatched away brotherhood? I failed as a king. I failed as a father. <laughs> Master, nostalgia is nothing but the comfort of the weak. You need to live in the present. Look around and see how these evil Pandavas are destroying your land, your reputation, and your hundred glorious sons. Perhaps I could stop this war. Oh, noble king, I respect your decision, but it's late. All my 99 brave sons 
have died in a battlefield, you could have stopped your son Duryodhana. Yet you chose silence. You call yourself noble? No, but you are a coward Kshatriya. You are unjust to your son, your kingdom, and a helpless mother. Lord Krishna, I've been righteous all my life. Why does a mother deserve to see her son's death? What has been my bad karma? I demand justice. Oh Lord Krishna, do you hear me? I demand justice. All are predestined. It is not destiny. It is your ego. I fear for the life of my little boy, Duryodhan. You were never just. It is all your karma. I go to the puja room and shall fast till his self return. <laughs> is this a reflection of male ego or a father who is biased towards his son? My Lord, now I can see Krishna in discussion with the Pandavas. This crooked general has played all the tricks. He is the man behind all the troubles. <sighs> he has even devised schemes to kill our master Dronacharya. <sighs> and now <sighs> he is in discussion with the Pandavas Bhima for the final battle. Bhima? I will avenge every drop of blood. Duryodhana is stronger than Bhima in the Gada war. Yeah, he is taking the Gada and approaching Bhima. Yeah, yeah. I will crush your throat and play with your bloody skull. <laughs> My lord, what happiness will I be getting by killing my brothers? Also, father said, he is my own uncle, my cousins. Won't they be committing a sin? Bhima, this is simply your duty in every battlefield. This is your duty and your task. And this is a justice what you are fighting for. A man should perform his duty without considering any result. Even if it hurts him, it destroys him. He has to do his duty, Bhima. Yeah, yeah, he's powerful, he's striking him. Yeah, he's striking again. He's powerful, he's striking again. Bhima, Bhima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krishna is going close to him. They're talking something. Oh, no. Oh, oh. This is totally unfair. Sakuni. What is it? What is it? I order you to tell me. What do you see? What's wrong? My lord. Your son, Duryodhana, is killed. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Duryodhan! 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 It can't be true! Duryodhan! My son! Krishna! You are not to be spared! Everything is fair in love and war. Yes, Krishna did play the game with unfair rules. This brings 
to the end of the battle of kurukshetra pain bhima goes to the king his uncle for forgiveness will the grieved king forgive him my lord here comes krishna and bhima spare them not He has the blood of your son. Don't spare him. Be a warrior. Don't spare him, my lord. I come to seek your forgiveness, my uncle. What justice you seek for? He has been my heir, and now. is in a pool of blood come bima come bima you are also like my son let me let me embrace you hold on bima i see a treachery the king has lost his senses i see is each nerves and muscles full of revenge bima take the statue and give it to your uncle bima do it what i am saying give it to your uncle <laughs> master shaguni come bhai sir come 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 bhai sir come <laughs> My uncle, I am still alive. <laughs> My lord, hey. What? What? My lord, hey. My lord, what happened? My lord, hey. Hey. My lord, Krishna, Krishna. Forgive me, Lord, my Lord. <laughs> Forgive me, my Lord, Krishna. I have been blind in love towards my son. Forgive me, Lord, Krishna. Forgive me. Forgive me, Bima. I failed as a king. I failed as a father. <laughs> Blood is thicker than water. Sometimes we become blind in love and lose our focus and responsibilities. Sindbad is an ambitious young man from the wadis of Arabia. He is from a well-to-do family. He has every material success and is highly ambitious. He sails the length and breadth of the world in search of lands, adventures, treasures and experiences. His father Abu is a noble man with high values loves his family follows his faith with full devotion i am sinbad the sailor i am not to be confined to this land and this sea i am hungry for knowledge for love for success from the silk of china to the Elephant of India, from the Jews of Iran to the pyramid of Egypt. I am Simbad, the sailor, and I seek full world. My son, Simbad, I'm proud of you, my son. You have to travel all the world, all seas, all wadis. You should know your names. 
Oh, I love you, my son. Hanmur has been my fitter. To calm the turbulent storm in Sinbad's soul, his wise father Abu reminds him that conquest should not be his sole objective, but it must be to serve the world as a sailor. Father, I have extended my reach to the land and breadth of this motherland. But youth, for generations, has its tragic flaws. Because his king is very powerful and he will not entertain my friendship. But one day I will conquer his land and I will bring him to my feet. How does he look like? Is he of your height and 10 years senior to you? Does he have the complexion like me? Does he suffer from bad temper? He is dangerous son. Avoid him. And his name is Hamad. Avoid him, father? <laughs> Your handsome son, never covered. By the way, how do you know more about him, father? Let me quench my thirst. No, son. No, son. Don't go to that part of the sea. A father's heart is a volcano of emotions. He is protective of his children, even after the tender years. But why is it that Abu doesn't want Sinbad to venture to southwest? I will send Ali to the King Hamad for friendship. Sinbad gets a shock. Hamad doesn't accept the friendship and instead kills Ali. Sinbad is enraged. Abu is worried and comforts his son. My son, past is past. Let us not dwell in those memories. Forgive him. Let bygones be bygones. Sinbad's heart is full of anger. In night's darkness, he attacks Hamad. And this time, for revenge. You killed my friend Hali. My father warned me to not fight you. Hamad! <laughs> you evil sailor! Pooh! I shall never ever surrender to you! I have more wounds in my heart than your age! <sighs> you spare me, young man! You spare me! <sighs> surrender your treasure! Surrender yourself! I will spare you. Never! Kill me! You can kill my life! But never my pride! God! Kill him! What price will this disobedient and inexperienced son bear now? My son, why are you late this season? What do you have bought for me? Father, I got a best gift for you, father. <laughs> I got a best gift for you, father. <laughs> Sinbad, what have you done? What have you done? I have warned you not to fight with Hamad. He is your brother. He had several temper issues. And I have banished him 10 years back. Why does the children doesn't hear the warnings of father? Simba. He is also my son. What have you done? A storm is coming in the heart of King Leo. Once a mighty king 
of a vast kingdom is broken, scattered and shattered. His own daughters banished him because of the greed of property. Traitors! Traitors! The serene world is full of traitors. Listen, O oh storm! Listen, O oh dark skies! This is Lear, King Lear! <laughs> But, but I am broken. My nobility is robbed. <laughs> calm down, master. Please calm down. I have some woods with me. This will keep us warm tonight. You have never been so unfortunate. What you have been was blind. You cease to recognize the real love of your faithful Cordelia. Cordelia? Leo has been the powerful king of his land. His three daughters were his valued jewels, but he had one flaw. In fact, a tragic flaw. Validation from his loved ones. Father, I love you more than precious stones and pearls. Father, my love for you is beyond the skies and the kingdom. You're the most handsome king in the seven continents. <laughs> Cordelia. Father, sweet father. I love you like the salt in my food. Love like salt in food? The old king is enraged. You deem me, father? Banish her! Banish her! Father? Sweet father, <laughs> you are mistaken. I'm not here to flatter. I have been always honest. And my love for you has always been a chaste as the skies after thunderstorms. Disappointed and furious, the king banishes truthful Cordelia. We are now the rulers of the treasurers. And time passes. Cordelia survives the harsh lands. Meanwhile, in the palace, King Lear is betrayed and is left in the jungle with his faithful servant. General, get him! Right now! My fair ladies, Lears is old man, heartbroken and confused. My ladies, as a hoarder, I will take my army and will find the old king. And an army of thousand men marched to the cold mountains to hunt for old Lear and kill him. Army is coming! And we are surrounded! I shall... I shall fight every evil spirit. <laughs> my, my hands are warm. <laughs> but, but, blood is not. Muscles are weak. But, but, no, sir. Not. Who walks there? Who walks there? Speak out. Speak out. Otherwise, I will stab you. Stab you. Father? Sweet father. Cordelia? My child? My divine child? Are you still alive? You survived the jungle and the court. My child? My divine child? My God. I have been a merciless Cruel father, how fortune you played havoc on me. Forgive me, my child. Forgive me. Father, love is always in action and not in words. You are surrounded. But not to worry. 
I'm your child, the daughter of a man with supreme tenderness and courage. I have trained an army. We will fight back. I shall fight back. My treacherous sisters, your evil daughters. Let your, let your old father also fight back. Your eyes and faith in me are enough. Stay safe in that oak tree and I shall come back to your arms before the dawn. The brave daughter forgives her father's misgivings and goes to defend the army sent by sisters. Every single man. But there is a heavy news that awaits this stormy night. The war is won. Cordelia saves her father. But what happens to her? Attendants! Doctors! Noble man! Where are thou? <laughs> Heavens! Hear me out! My law is silent! How oh, fate ridicules a man! Fortune scorns at love. Cordelia. Cordelia. Her lips are, lips are moving, moving, moving. I am King Lear. I am King Lear. Mighty King Lear. Frailty, thy name is not woman. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be tomorrow. We have seen fathers from different continents, different faith, different religion. But their feelings are same. Their emotions are same. Even though they were from different era. They too needed love. They all needed validation from their children. They all needed, wanted to be praised, to be loved, to be appreciated and accepted. But as audience, I welcome you all to give your suggestion too. <laughs>